All right, I'm excited for this story. In less than 48 hours, the Sweet 16 of the NCAA basketball tournament gets underway. Up in Indianapolis right now, the Baylor Bears will help one of the sport's most famous arenas make history as they aim to continue their own historic run. Sports director Curtis Quillen is live in Indianapolis with the story of the famous Hinkle Fieldhouse. Lay it on me, Curtis. Well, you know, Chris, when the NCAA announced they would play the entire NCAA tournament this year here in the greater Indianapolis area, the college basketball world rejoiced, myself included, because that meant one thing, tournament games inside Hinkle Fieldhouse. So today we got a first hand look at why this place is so beloved and just what makes it so historic and so special. Tucked behind the trees on the Butler campus in northern Indianapolis, it's one of the meccas of college basketball, and it seems like everyone wants to play here. I know Coach Mills at Oral Roberts, that was his number one wish was to play at Hinkle. <laughs> but wherever, wherever he played Mackey, it worked out just fine, so he's good. Hinkle Fieldhouse is among college basketball's most famous arenas. We have so many connections in the basketball world, you know, whether it's, it's Thad Mata, uh, who is an alum here, or Scott Drew, who was on the basketball staff as a manager in the early 90s. Yes, that's Scott Drew is an alum of Butler and worked as a manager before joining his dad's coaching staff at Valparaiso. Hinkle Fieldhouse is iconic in the sport. The history just kind of bleeds through every nook and cranny of Hinkle. When you walk in, you can hear Gene Hackman yelling from the sideline. Even if parts of Hoosier were fictionalized for Hollywood. The shot was real. Uh, the fact that they were a small school, you know, making that run was real. And then Bobby Plump came here to Butler and played basketball and is still among our top 15 to 20 all time scorers. But for as historic as the arena is and how revered it is in the sport, it lacks one thing. 2021 is only the second time it's hosted NCAA tournament games. The last was a regional in 1940. 80 years later, here we are uh, under very, very unique circumstances. And, um, you know, for no one wants to be going through a pandemic uh, by any means. But for the city of Indianapolis and, the, and central Indiana to really be able to step up, we're really proud to be part of that community effort. My team is on the court. It's just fitting that in the first regional round in 80 years, both Texas teams still dancing will play inside Hinkle Fieldhouse. Baylor, of course, in the early game against Villanova, the nightcap puts Houston in the Sweet 16. Chris, it's going to be a lot of fun as we get the dance back underway Saturday afternoon.